What's up, what's up, what's up? So last time we were working on the AC, we diagnosed some problems that we had with this car. We had some leaking O-rings and we had, we had a blown high pressure relief valve. So we've got some parts over here that hopefully we're gonna be able to fix it. I've got our high pressure relief valve. Go there. That's what it looks like. There's your part number. We'll go ahead and get that changed. And then I've also got a brand new receiver dryer because this thing needs it. The system has been open for a long time, so it absolutely needs to get a brand new receiver dryer put in. We got some O-rings because we're gonna go ahead and change all the O-rings while the system's empty. And then we're also gonna change the expansion valve, make sure that one that's in the car isn't clogged or stuck closed, causing that high pressure relief valve to go. We're gonna flush and clean all the lines make sure there's no old oil coolant dirt anything in there so we are going to be taking this apart a little bit to do that but i think that's the right move to make sure that this works right and all of our hard work and money is well spent and make sure our ac system works we're going to disconnect the driver's side intake tube start getting the stuff out of the way Take the nose panel off that's going to give us access to where the receiver dryer and the condenser lines are right underneath there remove the air box battery out of the way that's going to give us access to the lines that run in the firewall to our evaporator and of course when you remove the battery you want to remove your passenger side windshield cowl. All right guys, so we got our uh, intake tube off of the driver's side out of the way so we can access our presser. I went ahead and pulled the nose panel and the air box so we can access our receiver dryer. Then over here, pulled our battery out, removed our cowl first so we didn't break it, removed our battery. This is gonna leave us access to the evaporator. Those are the lines going into the evaporator. We need to disconnect them on this side and then we'll go work on the evaporator inside. All right, so to get our first line out, we're gonna need an 18 millimeter and a 19 millimeter. 18, go back right here, 19 on this. These lines will bend so easy, boys, so just be careful. That's why we're using both sizes, and this one's already loose. But if you gotta fight it, just gentle, gentle, gentle. If you snap one of these lines, you're out. You're out some dollar bills, boys. All right, to the bottom, Low pressure line is a 24 and a 28. If you don't have those, just use some adjustable wrenches here. But mine's pretty loose, so we know it's leaking out right here. But we don't want to damage it, so we're gonna have a wrench on both ends, and we'll just zip these down. Those two are loose, ready to disconnect from the firewall. Receiver dryer exposed. I'm gonna go ahead and take it apart under the lines to the condenser because we will be pulling the condenser as well so i pulled the radiator out of the way because of course we have to remove the radiator to get to the condenser but it opens up the engine bay a ton and lets a lot of work now when pulling a receiver dryer there is a bracket that the receiver dryer is bolted into that is bolted to the car and then there's some electrical connections that are connected to that bracket i was having trouble getting the electrical connections off of the receiver dryer so so instead of fighting it and try to break anything, I actually just took the electrical connections off the car and took the bracket out as well. The bracket and the receiver dryer itself all out as one unit. High pressure discharge line that goes into the firewall. I decided not to pull it all the way out of the car. Clean and flush it while it was still in the car. Position the line so we can get it flushed out and cleaned out properly. I actually end up pulling the AC compressor while I'm down there just so we can drain all of the oil, make sure there's no contaminants in there. All right, boys, I actually ended up just pulling the AC compressor really, 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 really easy. Kind of can inspect some components down here while it's out anyways. So you got these two bolts on the bottom, super easy. And those two bolts on the top, I mean, it is really, 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 really easy to pull once. So we have everything already out. So really wasn't an issue. Condenser's gone, receiver dryer's gone, all the lines are gone except for this high pressure line that feeds into the expansion. It's kind of just weaved through some stuff I don't feel like it's worth. We'll just uh, look and clean it out in place. Next thing we have to do is take out the evaporator. The 
evaporator lives right behind this glove box. So we need to take out this piece of trim, just some clips on the bottom. We'll drop that, then we can unbolt the glove box and we'll take the glove box out. All right, so for this trim piece on the glove box, we got a couple little clips down here. We need to get it out. Go ahead and pop out these plastic connectors, no problem. We're not gonna damage the trim or the connectors at all because we're using the right tools to get them disconnected. Too easy. All right, with that out of the way, it exposes our bolts for what we need to take out next, which is the glove box. So I got one and two. I should drop the glove box out. Boys, let's just put some power to it. Got a nice little pile of hardware there and I'm gonna remove it from the car. Boom. Here's our blower motor right here. Here's our evaporator unit. We need to take this frame off to uh, give us access. So hopefully we can slide that off, disconnect everything and slide it out. All right, boys. So we have to remove bolt here, bolt here, bolt here, bolt here. These bolts right here, one, two, a screw from right here. And then there's another one of these and it's behind this piece of trim and you need to very, very, very carefully unpop it. And then you see that screw right there. Definitely don't want to break this, would never be worth it. All right, boys, it's out. It, uh, that is tricky with one hand, but that's the ring. The one that really gave me trouble, what really gave me trouble on this was the screw that goes right in that hole. The screw that goes right in that hole. It's behind this. Uh, you just have to kind of do that. But I mean, you have to be careful because it will break over here. You don't want to do that without taking this off. To take this off, you need to take this off. So if you can just slide in there and get a screwdriver, disconnect it, just pop that off. That one just slides off. <laughs> On this side to get the evaporator out, we did have to remove this plate. And then behind the plate is this holds the evaporator lines super nice and tight. So pop that off. Pull this out. I mean, it does take a little finessing, but you got to get it out of there. It opens up those holes like so. All right, here's our evaporator. I'm going to show you. So we've got one bolt holding it up there, one bolt there, one bolt there, and then a screw that holds on a little something, something right there. You're able to pull it down. It is tight, FYI. I mean, I kind of dinged it up right there. It is tight coming out of there. But once you get this off, the line's disconnected, of course. Everything out of the way here, those three bolts, able to slide this out. Now we can work on it and service this unit. Here is our line for the condensation. I'm gonna take an air compressor and blow that out, make sure there's nothing in that line. If you ever have to change out your main engine wiring harness, you'll have to remove this evaporator unit. Anyways, I mean, gosh, otherwise it's like you can't do it because that's where it runs in the firewall. This plate is bolted to it. You need to get that out to run it through. It's such a pain. All right, boys, so we got to totally disassemble. Literally the entire AC system is out of this car. Boom, next time we're gonna install our new parts Expansion valve, rings, receiver dryer, high pressure relief valve, flush all these lines, drain the oil out of that compressor. What the f is that? <laughs>